you love me, please don't judge me Got my hands tied, the power's above me Don't shoot the messenger, I'm just a puppet here If you wanna place blame, then look to the puppeteer Family, fortune, envy, jealousy, privilege Passed on, legacy, secret, sabotage, borderline, felony Suicide, subtract, selfish, pedigree I started in legend cars um, out at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the summer shootout so that was probably the first two years that I raced um, spent most of my time out there racing racing at Concord Speedway uh, as well on the quarter mile track and then and then as I progressed in further into the ranks I got into late model racing at Hickory raced at Hickory Motor Speedway for a while uh, raced at Concord as well in the late model. Um, so yeah, just a lot of different tracks around the southeast, but um, definitely learned a lot. Oh, I guess just being part of the Denny Hamlin short track showdown was always fun. Um, I think that was that was an exciting race. I actually finished second. I, I kind of ran like 10th all night, and then uh, Josh Berry and uh, Lee Pulliam got together, and I was teammates with Josh, so it was kind of it was funny on my perspective to kind of watch them, you know, have to get out of the track with security and stuff because Lee Pulliam was such a, a big name up there in South Boston. So, um, yeah, I finished that race second and I just remember going through tech and nobody really cared. So it was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, it's a great race. I think uh, it takes a lot of effort from the teams. It's really, uh, really similar to a cup race in terms of the way that you prepare and um, you're there for almost a week. Um, the, the cars are really, everyone has a really nice car, so they're trying to bring their best stuff for that for that race. So it has a lot of notoriety to it um, to win that race. And I feel like, um, you know, I've, I've run well in that race. I, I think I finished top 10 the first time, qualified on the pole uh, the second year and ran in the top three. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a tough race. It's a long, long race too. All time would probably be, um, I won a race at South Boston um, it was, I think I was in the k and series at the time and I, I hadn't won a race that year um, in the late model. And so I, I think it was just a big, a big win for me. Our car wasn't exactly that great, but I figured something out and was running a different line than the other guys and, uh, and passed all the way up to the lead and, and kind of, I think I was running like fourth or fifth and passed all those guys and, and got up to the lead. So it was just kind of a, a crazy race because I just found something that worked and um, took my car to the front. I just enjoy it. I, I think it helps me. Um, I think it's nice to go back and, and kind of see what you've learned since since you raced in the past and, and the cars have changed a lot. So I just enjoy going back. I think it helps me become a better driver. Um, you know, a little bit better awareness, um, you know, and things like that. But I overall just, it's fun and, um, you know, it's, it's good to challenge yourself in something. I feel like the late model series are very tough. I mean, those guys run those cars every weekend and it's hard to just come in and, and win a race, but uh, it's, it's a good opportunity to try that. Uh, I'd say Josh, Josh Berry, um, for sure. I think he, uh, he kind of took me under his wing. I, I think that was the first, I worked in the shop for a couple months, you know, over the summer when I had school off and he, he probably taught me the most just about kind of awareness of what cars are like and then and then obviously on the track too. So uh, I learned a lot from him. It's cool to, you know, see him uh, in NASCAR now.